Okay, welcome back. In this part, I'm going to teach you how to rig your robot model. Now, before we start the rigging process, I want to make a small change to my robot mesh here. I'm going to go into edit mode and then I'm going to deselect and I'm going to add these two spheres at the bottom of its feet because for the final animation, I'm going to have the robot model glide forward really fast. So let's zoom in and I'm going to hover over one of the spheres and hit L, hover over this sphere, hit L and then shift D to duplicate them and then escape to set them back in place. Then I'll use the move tool and move them towards the bottom of the feet. I'll zoom in and just align them. I'm just going to tab back out to go into object mode. And now the spheres are attached to the robot. Okay. Now let's begin the rigging process. So it's not as complicated as you think. It's actually very simple, especially if the character is in a, a pose like this. It can even be in a T pose, but the A pose works just fine. So let's hit shift A on our keyboard and then add in armature. This will add in a single bone, but it's hard to see. So let's go to the object properties and just check mark in front. Okay. Now with the bone selected, we can go into edit mode by hitting tab, then hit a, and we can use the move tool to move it up. I'm going to move it towards the neck and this bone will control the entire torso. To add in another bone, we can select this little circle here and then hit E to extrude, which will add in another bone. Hit Z on your keyboard and we will move it up towards the antenna. This bone here will control the movement of the head. Now let's add in some bones for the arms and the legs. Select this circle thing here and then hit E to extrude and we'll move it towards the shoulder. Hit E again to add in another bone. We'll move this bone towards the elbow. And then one last bone, hit E to extrude, and this bone will be for the forearm. Now we can add in some bones for the fingers, but I don't really want to complicate the rigging process, especially because you're a beginner. So we're not going to really rig the fingers since we're not really going to be animating them for the final animation. Okay. Now let's add in some bones for our leg. Let's select the bottom part of this bone here and we'll hit E to extrude and we'll make a bone for the hips knee hips. I think this is the hips. So yeah. And then one more bone for the entire leg. So hit E to extrude, and then you can hit Z on your keyboard to extrude directly down. Okay. And now we don't have to repeat the same process on the other side. We can actually just duplicate these bones. So let's go ahead and select all the bones we want to duplicate on the other side. Let's click and drag like this. We can also just hold shift and select these bones here. And then we're going to hit control and F2 on our keyboard, which will bring up this batch rename menu. Change this to bones. Change the type to set name. It's going to be at suffix and the name is going to be dot L because these are the left side bones. So go ahead and hit OK. Now all you have to do is just right click and symmetrize. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Now we can go back into object mode. And if you try to move your armature here, you can see that it's still not moving the body or it's not even really attached to the body yet. So let's go ahead and put it back to attach it to the body. All we have to do is just deselect, select our robot model, then hold shift, select your armature, control P on your keyboard, and then parent with automatic weights. Okay. Now, if we did everything correctly, this should work. So the moment of truth to test out your rig, just select your armature, go into, instead of going into edit mode, we're going to be going into pose mode. All right. Now let's go to the bone properties menu. Let's select one of the bones here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this bone right here to see if it works. So I'm going to hit R on my keyboard. You can also use this tool. So let's just go ahead and use the uh, rotate tool, but we can also hit R on our keyboard and then Y to rotate it. And there you go. It's working. You can see that there is this weird deformation happening. Let me just move this to here. Yeah. You can see that there's this weird deformation happening on the shoulder here. We can easily fix that by just going back into object mode, selecting your robot model, go to the modifiers and just check mark preserve volume for the armature modifier. So you can see what that does. If you uncheck it, it's deforming. And then if you check it, it fixes the problem. All right, now let's go ahead and make sure the rig is working properly. So let's go select the armature. Let's go back into pose mode 
and let's go to front view. And now let's just pose our robot model to see if all the bones are working. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select one of the bones. I'll hit R on my keyboard and then Y to rotate on the Y axis. And you know what, I'm just gonna see if the bones are working correctly. And they seem to be working. We can also select the leg here, I said R, Y, it is. We can also go to the side, select this bone, and we can hit R and then X to rotate on the X axis, go to the front view. Let's see if the head is working. So let's hit R and then Y, it is working. We can also hit Z to rotate on the Z axis and it looks like it's working perfectly. Uh, it looks like the rig is working just fine. You can also just turn off overlays to see your model. And it looks like I put him in some sort of, you know, jumping pose or whatever, but uh, you get the idea. Okay, let's turn back on overlays and we can reset all the bones by going to the bone properties right here. And we got to set the rotation, the W rotation to one and the rest is going to be zero. So we'll do that for all of them. Zero, W is going to be one. So for the final animation, I had the robot model in this sort of gliding pose. So let's first pose it in that gliding pose and then we can do some animation. I'm gonna go to the minus X view and I'm just gonna go into wireframe for a second and I'm gonna select these bones right here. I'm just gonna hold shift and then double click to make sure this middle bone is deselected. Now I'll go back to minus X view. Then I'm just gonna hit R and then X on my keyboard and move the arms back like this. And let's select both of these legs like this. And then we'll just hit R and then X on my keyboard and I'll just move them back like this. We also want the torso to be slightly forward. So let's select the torso and then R, X, and we can just move them forward like this. The head is gonna be a little tilted up. So let's just select the head bone, R, X, and we'll just something like this. Let's also go to the top view. And I'm just gonna go ahead and select this bone, hit R and Z, maybe bring it in a little bit. Same with this, R, Z. I'll just bring it in a bit. Okay, so before we move on to the animation, we just wanna quickly go to Edit, Preferences, go to Animation, scroll down, and just change the default interpolation to Linear because we want the animation to be at a constant same speed. I'm also gonna mention this again when we do the camera animation. So just hit save preferences and you can close out of that. Okay, now that the pose is finally done, let's go ahead and add in that animation. So I'm gonna start with this arm right here. I'm gonna go into the minus X view and we're gonna be animating using keyframes. So let's bring up this menu right here, which is the timeline. So the animation itself is gonna be about four seconds. So since we're rendering this animation at 24 frames per second, four seconds would be about 96 frames. Okay, let's add in a keyframe for this bone for the starting position. So let's hover over our rotation settings right here under the bone properties and just hit I on your keyboard to add in a keyframe, which will bring up this little yellow diamond right here. Okay, now we'll go eight frames ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight frames and then we're gonna move the arm a little downwards. So let's hit R and then X, and then I'm just gonna move it slightly down. Something like that. And then we'll just hit I to add in that keyframe. Now, if you hit play, you can see that the arm moves down. Let's also add a little bit of bend on this bone right here. So select this bone and we'll go back to the minus X and we'll just hit R X, maybe add a slight bend. Yeah, okay. Now we'll animate the other arm. So let's go to the other side by going to the X view. And we'll select this arm right here. We will also add, let's first, you know, add some bend for this arm as well. So let me just hit R, Y, or X, sorry. And we can just, you know, bend it a little bit. And the bone over here, the starting position is gonna be a little down. So let's hit R, X. So it'll start like this. Okay, and then this is gonna be the starting position of this arm, so hover over the rotation settings and just add in a keyframe. Okay, same thing. We'll go eight frames ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So on frame eight, 
the this arm was is going to go up. So hit R and then X, and it's just going to go up slightly. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and add in that keyframe. Hit I. Okay, so now if you play the animation from frame zero or frame one, you can see that that's what the animation looks like. Okay, so we'll add in one more keyframe for each of the arm. So let's go eight frames ahead. So starting from frame eight, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On frame 16, we could set this back to its original position. So its original position, all we have to do is just copy this same keyframe and paste it on frame 16. So you can just right click, copy, and then just hit paste as long as it, it was selected. Okay, and we'll do the same with this arm. So select the first keyframe like this, hit copy, and then we'll just paste it. Okay, so now it should look like this. I also wanna add in some movement on the Z axis. So just go back to frame eight and select this arm, maybe add in some slight inwards rotation. So hit R and then Z, just a little bit, maybe a little more, okay, and then just hit I on your keyboard to add in that keyframe. Then same with this, you know, hit R, Z, just adding in that slight inwards rotation like this, hover over your rotation and just hit I. Okay. All right, now we just need this to loop. To easily loop this, you can just select one of your bones, hit A and then Shift D, make cyclic, okay? Now it'll just keep repeating. We'll do the same for this, select this, Hover over your timeline, hit A to select all the keyframes, shift E on your keyboard, and then make cyclic. Okay, and look at that. It just keeps repeating forever. And you can turn off overlays to see what it looks like. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just making it look like, you know, there's some sort of wind that's affecting the arms flailing, even though this is mechanical. But that's pretty much it for this part. Hopefully you all are enjoying the tutorial so far. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials. And if you want, you can download this entire project file on my Patreon. So consider becoming a member and get access to my past and future tutorial project files. Okay, I'll see you in the next part.